Admit it. The only thing you love more than a little schadenfreude over a tech failure is five of them. When I was young, people were more optimistic about technology. Being critical of tech companies was for the cool iconoclasts lurking on news groups. But these days, hating tech companies is mainstream, baby. Everybody's doing it. So let's join the crowd and count down the top five tech failures. At number five, Google Glass. Now, I confess, I've led a somewhat quixotic crusade to note that Google Glass didn't die, it just became an enterprise product. But that didn't mean it succeeded. Google wanted everybody to be wearing glass all the time and keep their smartphones in their pocket. From its skydiving debut at Google I.O., it plummeted to become a byword for tech flops. Coming in at number four, ah, Windows Phone. It could have been something. It could have been a contender. It actually had a really good interface and a good feature set. Unfortunately, it was caught in the crossfire of Android and iOS's Titanic battle, and the CEO changeover at Microsoft didn't help. When you buy Nokia's entire handset business and then have to shut it down, I'm sorry, that's a failure. Honorable mention to Amazon's Fire Phone, though. Up to number three, Divix. It was a simple idea. You pay less than $5 for a DVD-like disc that was not a DVD because it was playable only on special Divix players. And you had 48 hours to watch it before it locked up, after you'd paid for it. Now, if you didn't want to throw it away, you could pay a little more to get an extra two days or a little more to get unlimited plays on your machine, kind of like a DVD, or a little more to play it on any machine, exactly like a DVD. Divix lasted only a year, and to mock it, the name was used for a digital video codec that survives to this day. Sliding in at number two, ah, the Apple Newton. Yes, yes, yes. It set the field for many future developments monetized by Palm. But that's kind of the point. Apple generally puts a product out at the right time. They were way too early with the Newton. And the handwriting recognition, which was supposed to be its signature feature, didn't work well. In fact, it works poorly and got clowned by almost everybody. It was the first of many things Steve Jobs killed when he came back to the company. At number one, 3D TVs. For several years, some sort of 3D technology was featured in almost every new television sold. I've got one in mine, which to my way of thinking is the most damning evidence against them. Even with a large number of TVs featuring 3D, including the one I use now, the technology could not catch on. Nobody wanted to have to put on uncomfortable glasses to watch unnecessary 3D effects. And not everybody wanted to watch Avatar over and over again. Yes, I know. What about Quibi? Or Microsoft Bob? Or hydrogen airships, as someone suggested. Everyone, thank you for your excellent suggestions. But I had to pick five, and these were mine. Make your arguments for your favorite failure in the comments. Want more great tech news and info? Subscribe to our channel. It's youtube.com slash daily tech news show if you're not there already. Get the podcast at dailytechnewsshow.com. And if you like what you see, you can help support us at patreon.com slash DTNS. I'll see you there.